One month after a massive blast tore through, excuse me, Beirut. I sat down with the FBI to learn how they're protecting. Oh, no. <laughs> it wasn't a full sunshine. Of course, our sky still filled with that smoke. To jump on the opportunity. All right, we've got a lot more ahead of you, ahead for you. There we go, tongue tied. 11 News at 9, we'll be right back after this. Yeah, there's a lot of back and forth on this. Good morning to you, too. I'm Jackie Abanez with a look at what the spooky holiday might be like this year. Straight ahead. Spooky. Well, we've been told to stay at home, but that hasn't stopped. Chris? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> U.S. ethanol production did fall 9,000 barrels today to 212,000, or 922,000 barrels per day, excuse me. Now, this is the room I'm looking forward to exploring the most. The cellar. Come and have a look. How did this idea come about? Was it in collaboration with some of these people involved? Or, sorry, I'll have to edit that. <laughs> local Target store says they're taking action after two employees complained the COVID-19 situation at their store is out of control. Uh, Matt right there in the Tiwi Islands. Uh, oh, hello. Oh. Darkness <laughs> befell the studio. <laughs> PK, save us. All of the Kate's locations aren't planning to fully reopen until the weekend of September 11th. An Indian trail, getting on the worst. <laughs> I need cucumbers, man. Oh. Former Health Secretary Alan Johnson uh, joins us down the line from hell. Uh, from Hull. Uh, Alan Johnson, I'm never going to recover from that now, am I? Tonight on Idaho News 6, you've heard of snowboarding, but what about... What? Sandboarding. <laughs> Katrina's wins. Katrina, about 15 years ago, uh, was uh, uh, basically uh, seeing uh, winds of 125 miles per hour. Ganaderías como esta se han visto muy perjudicadas en los últimos. Hola. Hola, bebé. And tracking the latest on our cool down. That is. I don't know. It's like, is that me? What? what? Mouth. I'm meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Thank you for joining me on the live stream brproud.com and the BR Proud app. <laughs> My earring just fell off. Well, anyway. After that official high came out, the number bumped up to 60. So that's our official, official high today once the official numbers do get made official. <laughs> I'll add one more official in there for good measure. Give me one second here as I scroll through the teleprompter, finding my place. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Live television is awesome. All right, welcome back to Eyewitness News. Uh, right welcome back into Eyewitness News. It's okay, go ahead, Sarah. Go ahead, Aaron. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Oh, hey, hey. Whoa. I was talking to Jeff. Check and it out, Lori. Wow, what the heck is going down. on? Here we go. Okay. Well, I, I think it's weather time, sort of. Oh, this what is. What I was doing, I was asking Jeff on the crew where Janola is because. Uh... <laughs> now, over the next seven days, we are going to see uh, stormy trying to get in on the forecast here. <laughs> uh, so we have some big changes coming up. Unfortunately, uh, my cat decided to mess with my weather computer here, and I, I can't really back up to where we were at. <laughs> I can't this morning. We have got into this great conversation in the break, and now I'm crying on air. What a good, what a good Friday, guys. We finally made it. I'm so happy it's Friday. If you can tell, we're very excited that it's Friday. Tengamos en cuenta que 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 el testeo que le está haciendo Boca hoy por hoy a los jugadores, el resultado prácticamente es inmediato. Cuando se me está yendo el paraguas para atrás, el resultado es inmediato. Así que hay que... Eh, Estén peor que vos. Ahí lo acomodo, ahí lo acomodo. Para que lo acomodo. Dame la pluma. Parezco, parece la pluma de Roxy. Talks may have resumed, but there is no light at the end of the tunnel just yet. The House and Senate still seem far apart on how much money they would like to offer in an... Take it back. My bad, guys. Sorry. I knew this was going to happen. We knew. All right, we are clearly having some difficulties there with uh, Darren's... Do you, Mar Marvin Martian? Come on. I... Hmm, I'm going to blow up the earth. No. Hey, thanks for... Us. <laughs> if you ask me to do it, I'm going to do it. Thanks for starting your Thursday morning with us here on 10. I'm Pete Scalia. <laughs> and I'm Angela Ann. Let's get over to Jeff Booth and 
see what uh, the forecast is looking like down here on Earth. On it Earth. <laughs> That's a solid no for me. Yeah, uh, I have grass in front of my house. I don't need to pay Gucci. Gucci uh, grass? The, Gucci grass. See, there you go. It just sounds so much better. <laughs> that feels like a song, Gucci grass. It, it, it does. <laughs> and I think they just made that legal. <laughs> I think that's the grass they made legal, yeah. That's where you were going with this. No, I swear I was. Uh -huh. Just goes to show you best friends come in all shapes and sizes. Duke the calf and Rex the chicken met at a farm animal sanctuary in Arizona, and they've been inseparable ever since. The unlikely pair enjoys their time outside cuddling together. It's cute. It reminds me of that joke. My nephew's favorite joke. What do you get when you cross a brown chicken and a brown cow? Brown chicken, brown cow. Good Friday morning. You're watching NBC 10 News. You okay? <laughs> she almost fell. Good morning. <laughs> She's Erin Coleman. I'm Keith Jones. We're, we're having a great time this I mean, Friday. That's Friday, all it is. So why not almost topple over? Uh, let's go to meteorologist Bill Henley for your first solar forecast. Hey, Bill. Hey, you can't blame the fog for that uh, because there, I know there's no fog in the studio. But As they emerge. Yeah, all right. Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for starting your day with us here on CBS 6. We're all here today. Uh, yeah. We're, I just wanted to psych you guys out. You we're know, all here today, and uh, clearly we're getting, there's a little bit of a learning curve. We're all remembering where to go and what to do, but uh, all very happy to be back in studio. Yeah, let's, uh, let's check out weather. Moving on, some people say over, or, sorry, one second, we're trying to get a story up right now. Okay, before we go um, into Labor Day weekend, we will, we are in Labor Day weekend, we want to make sure officials are hoping to avoid the surge in cases that have been following the Memorial Day and 4th of July weekends. This is, we actually just did that package. Let's go to the next story, guys. All right. You know what, I, I, I'm intrigued by your dress today because it matches the it weather does, wall. yes. And I, you know, would like to be so bold to request that you stand in front of the weather wall. Okay, okay. Uh, she, oh my goodness, she's gonna Although do I'm it. Wearing, this is impromptu. I'm wearing, this is not, I'm not wearing heels right now. For those that, that no, may fine. not be aware, the uh, there's nothing behind. Oh! There it is. Look at that. Yeah. Nearly invisible. Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm on the beautiful Cromer Beach. I'm on the pier and I couldn't come all this way without trying a bit of crabbing. Harry, you two have let me your squid, haven't you? So we've got some squid. Should we give it a go? Say hi. <laughs> Should we give it a go? Should we throw it over? There we go. Right. There we are. Is that oh, oh. <laughs> I, did, I, was forgot, I'm, I forgot to hold the end of it. Apologies about that. We'll get that out of the sea later. Sorry about that. And you can take advantage of that drive through waitering today and tomorrow. There's a big fly in here. You are just From so sweet. That thing, seriously, that look, that was a large fly. I know. It, like, I felt it. Are you okay? I'm fine. I can't. Cause I can't, I can't it's get, probably my hairspray at life. I can't get close enough to help. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not allowed. Put a mask on and get I'm over not, here. I'm, not I'm just going to get a really long swatter. <laughs> okay. Just maybe, right here. Maybe Brad knows something about how to get rid of flies. It's Brad now starts in this morning. Mm. <laughs> Go get it now. <laughs> Matt, are you a Rick Astley fan? Uh, not a massive one. But <gasps> I was a real, oh, that was the wrong thing to say. Around. He's listening Ooh, and sorry. he's coming up in just a moment. I'll ask you again. Matt, are you a Rick Astley fan? Love Rick Astley. Best. <laughs> Grew up with him. <laughs> Great. He's, he's coming up. He's coming up next, so we'll be he's very pleased to hear that. Exactly. There he is now. He's That's listening brilliant. in. Look, he heard everything you said, man. The damage is done. That's brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> anytime, anytime. I'm sure a little group glimpse of Rick Asley there. She's listening in. And we're going to chat to him in a minute about a new single. Yeah, should we, hear, well, didn't it? should we hear it first? Let's go back to Berlin, where I'm told there are actually 20,000 people now expected on the streets as part of this Quirenkin 7-Eleven protest and 3,000 police officers have been deployed to deal with them, although it seems unlikely that they'll be trying to disperse them, perhaps wanting them while that lorry, uh, that truck passes through shot. Um, oh, it's a train in fact, there you go, and we can see our cameraman, we can wave. I don't think he can wave back. Um, we were hoping to show those pictures, it will eventually, I don't know how long this train is. Looks like ordinary daily life in Berlin is proceeding entirely to plan. The trains are running on time despite the protesters. You are watching BBC News. Do you like? And, oh, and I like this part. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
is like when the hands go up. Yeah, this is my favorite. <laughs> and then he turns around and he gives a little like, oh yeah. <laughs>